What up, everybody? This is your boy Theo Pence here. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube so you don't miss any Run Your Race content. What up, everybody? It's your boy Theo Pinson here again with another episode of Run Your Race with my boy AJ Richardson, who is not here today, who is getting a hefty fine. But we got my guy back, Jay Jax. Welcome back, my brother. Thank you for having me back. The man. people have missed you. My man was on a 10 day, but we'll talk about that later because we got some important shit to talk about. It's a big week coming up, people. It's a big week. The best rivalry in sports, I don't care what anyone has to say, it is the best rivalry in sports. I get it. My fiance went to Ohio State. She will, to the day she died, she's going to say Michigan, Ohio State. I get Ooh. it. But I'm telling you, until you go to a game, UNC Duke is the most electric atmosphere you will ever experience. Am I wrong? By far. It's not even, a, not even a conversation. I don't think it's a conversation, bro. It's not. And it, it's, it, it, it's an unbelievable feeling. I, I know every single time I'm in the game, I feel like I was in the game. Every time I was in the game, you could just feel the electricity in the crowd every time you run out to the game and then to the court. It was, it's a, that was, I would say I did four years, right? Okay. It's a long time. <laughs> but if there was one thing I could go back and do, I would go back and play in the Carolina Duke game. Yeah. I love that game. The environment, the adrenaline, mm -hmm. just running out. I mean, people don't realize that gym, especially if you play at Duke, that gym is a high school gym. Yeah. So you have that kind of in intensity. Mm -hmm. All those fans are right on top of you. That you go to the Dean Dome and you get that thing packed and rocking. There's not many places that you can um, I mean, match that like, energy. Yeah, bro. yeah, I, I agree. Um, I think a question that I get a lot, and I think people want to know, and coming from a guy who they see player of the year, <laughs> national champion, <laughs> 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 only player in Carolina history to average 10, 5, and 5. <laughs> You know, <laughs> big time, big, big time, time accolades. You know, what I mean? my jersey is in a deep corner in the, in the rafters <laughs> in the Carolina. Yours is front and center. Uh, but all that to be said, what is your experience like as a player uh, of the rivalry? What what is the what does the rivalry mean to you as a player? That's interesting, man, because I've been thinking about it here lately. And I because uh, a bunch of people. They think that we just have like this hatred mm -hmm. for Duke mm -hmm. and like the other players. And I think there, there is all rivalries. You have some sort of animosity with it. You know, it's just like, we don't necessarily like y'all. Y'all don't necessarily like us, but all three years I was there, bro. I, don't, I can't really say that there was like real hate towards the other players. Yeah. Like the rivalry game was the rivalry game. So you mm -hmm. got up for it a little differently, but. I think it's more the fans experience that is like pushed out there as mm -hmm. like this rivalry mm -hmm. hate and you know especially here recently I just don't yeah. feel like now back in the day they they used to get down yeah there used to be some real like back and forth and issues but I don't know for me it was like it was just another rivalry game it wasn't because of hate it wasn't because oh I didn't like the guys on the other side it was just like it's freaking Duke, North Carolina. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, I agree with you. I 100% agree with you. For me, UNC Duke was a game where you knew you had to bring it. And we've watched it for so many years in our lives. And it's regardless of what school you go to and what school you pick, every player would love to play in that game. By far. And we were honored to be a part of that game. Mm -hmm. So it was a situation where it didn't, ma it didn't matter what the record was. It didn't matter who was on the team. It was smoke as far as like, we, we just know we, we wanted to win that game mm -hmm. because our fans felt, our, 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 the, the city, the state, our fans were just so bought into it. Mm -hmm. 
where we wanted to make them proud and we wanted to win also. And at the end of the day, it's just something we've watched our whole lives. Yeah. Now, I will tell you from the player's perspective, there's a lot of guys who don't like Duke, but the guys that I play with when I was there, you, Joel, Kennedy, Zay, uh, Nate, Marcus, Bryce, we hate NC State. Yes. There's there's more of a, a hate side of things to NC I State for sure. I can't stand the mother. <laughs> I want to beat the brakes off of them every <laughs> single time. If NC State came to me and was like, Theo, we want to offer you, fuck you. <laughs> I hate y'all. I can't stand them. What do you think that is? Bro, first of all, they're like Cowboys fans. <laughs> I'm sorry to say it. I'm sorry to say it. They're they're borderline Cowboys. (laughs) Chill on the Cowboys, bro. Unrealistic expectations. (laughs) You think you're going to win it every damn year. This is the year. This is the year. No, the f*** is not, bro. Excuse my language. They suck. (laughs) Every year. What was that record we were talking about last night? Bro. They keep saying rivalry. It's like... They're like we're like forty four and eight <laughs> in the last match. It's not a rivalry. Let's just say annual ass whooping. <laughs> it's little like at this point, it's little bro and big bro. Come on, you know. Listen, bro. And sometimes little bro misses big bro lets the little bro win so they don't cry. You know what I mean? We let them win a couple times. Got to build their confidence. Let up. them build their confidence. But I tell you one thing: we not losing there. We are gonna whoop your ass at home. <laughs> I ain't never lost in PNP, Peaky, whatever the hell that damn arena is. Never lost in there. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Yeah, I've never, never walked out of never. there with a sad face. I always walked away just waving yeah. at the fans, leaving early, yeah, yeah. pissed off. They <laughs> suck. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Many, many people. But it's because, like, NC State, the NC State games don't get as much, like, publicity for rivalry games. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because their only publicity is when they play us. <laughs> that is true. You know what I'm saying? It's the only it. time they get on TV, they play us. Or Duke. But that's the thing, though. I, I say this all the time. We have so much respect for them, for Duke. Yeah. Where it's like, y'all have earned, y'all have earned everything Facts. that y'all have gotten. Mm-hmm. NC State, I don't know what y'all have earned. What was the last time they won? Back with, uh, was it Valvano? It was Valvano. That's on, a bro. long time that's ago. That's a long time, bro. <laughs> that's a long time ago. Listen, that's ass. That's bad. I, I, I don't bad. even. I don't even know what to say. But we we we're not gonna talk about that school no more. It's <laughs> it's making me throw up. But <laughs> our camera's getting foggy. <laughs> but that's a good point, though. Like the respect level that we have for Duke and what they've accomplished. And two, the players that they've had come through there, bro. Come on, bro. Just think about when we were there. And I, I would say this. I would say this. To clear up, I got a lot of homeboys from NC Stank. I, I really can't even say this. Stank. I, I can't even say it. <laughs> I can't even say NC Stank. I, I, I can't even say it the correct way. <laughs> but all, like, guys who play on that team, I'm cool with. Yeah. It was never the players. No. It was always the fa- bro, they the talk. Fans were crazy. ruthless, bro. The fans they were ruthless. Crazy, bro. They used to say some wild stuff, yeah. bro, just out of pocket. But for sure, I mean, they, they definitely had talent over there, but yeah. they just get they get bombarded with the unrealistic expectations and yeah. then we just got to Yeah, yeah. Just move them on out the way. Take that out. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> Hey, but look, man. Let me ask you this. Let's go UNC Duke all-time starting five. College career. Not what they've done in the NBA, but college career. So now we're gonna do we're gonna do past like 70s. Yeah, let's go modern. It's gotta be 80s. 80s up? Yeah. So no Phil Ford. That's a tough one because he's arguably the best point guard of all time at UNC. Like no. No, Phil old as hell. Phil, Phil is older, bro. <laughs> no, let's go 80s up. Okay. 
Woo. Respect the field, though. I mean, obviously, you know the pillar of the team is going to be MJ. Yes. Period. Agreement on that. Got to be T-Hands. Agreement on that. Um, see, the point guard spot is where it gets a little... Uh, we got a lot of great point guards. A lot of great point guards. Like, and it's hard... For me, it's hard to pick between Ty and Ray, bro. Mm-hmm. That's where it's hard for me. Because on one hand... Ray literally like ran like that team 2005 yeah. like he held and did everything for that team. Just, yeah. You know I, what I mean? I'm I'm a um I'm a big Ed Coda guy. I do like Ed. For me personally, I haven't watched enough film on Ed. Yeah. I'm a big Ed Ed dying. They did say Ed was freaking cold. Who's the best point guard in Carolina history? But that's what I'm saying. Like you it's got hard. Ray, Phil, Kendall, and people don't give Kendall his props. People don't give him his props, Kendall bro. was a fucking <laughs> issue. <laughs> he was so cold, bro. Ray, uh, Ray, Ty, Kendall, Phil, JB. Yep. Um, hey, you got to put Kobe in there. Kobe was only there for a year, though. Still. I mean, Longest I, big guy on doing time. <sighs> Not I, doing time, but like having their time. Then if that's the case, we got to put young fella RJ on there then. Yeah. Motherfucker having a season. <laughs> we got to put him yeah, in there. he's having a seat. I, only reason I wouldn't say. I mean, he's about to have 2,000 points, bro. Didn't Ray and Ed. And he's not up there with them. Like he's not up there with them. He's not up there with them. That is true. That's a valid point. I'm just going off of if we're looking at stats and I mean heck he just set the Dean Smith record yeah scoring in a game 42 in a college game bro I don't think people realize how yeah, that's difficult sick, that's that is sick work that's <laughs> sick work like, <laughs> yeah yeah hey, he was he was he was sick for that one 42 yeah 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 come on you tried to do that a lot because the way you shoot the ball <laughs> you didn't pass much there it is man there it is. But if you don't do FGAs, how are you supposed to have FGAs? That's true. That's true. Okay. I don't know who's the best point guard, bro. It's hard. That's tough. We got a lot of great PGs. That's the question. I for mean, the Carolina he, fi- what's crazy, we're leaving MP out. For three years of his yeah. career, he was point guard. Yeah. That's tough because it's just when we got there, he was pretty much the two. True. That is That's true. why we're, I'm looking at it from a different lens. But so... I mean, we could throw MP. In. It's not fair for him, though. That is true. Not fair for him because we got so many guys that who were the PG the whole the whole time. That's true. That's tough. What about the four? Are we doing Sean? Are we doing Sean as a four or five? We're saying all time. So I got I got big man. I got big man uh, Tyler. I mean, that's that's probably uh, what I would do. I'm my bigs, because Tyler can play the four. Yeah, yeah. Put Tyler at the four. We got uh, MJ, point guard. Just give me any one of them. Any five. one of them. Just pick one. Any one of them. I'll I'll take. I'll just take Ty, because I watched I'll take him. Ray. I'll take Ray, and then uh, small forward. Worthy. I mean, <laughs> worthy. Worthy or my thing, I, low key. I need some athleticism. Give me Vince. I mean, you know what's crazy? They oh, were just shit, Antoine. I was just about to say, Antoine was that guy on that team with VC. Gotta go Antoine. You gotta go Antoine. Gotta go Antoine. That's a mean five. Duke. Dukey. Uh, Sheldon Williams. People forget about Sheldon. Sheldon was a Sheldon was a problem. Yeah. We got uh, Sheldon Williams at the five. Your two, I think you got it. Me, I would say J.J. Reddick. Yes, yes, easily. My two would be J.J. Reddick. My three, (sighs) three is tough. Well, because if if the problem is like. Duke's had a lot of guys who haven't stayed very long. Bro. Yeah. So Especially if I'm going three, heck, 
Give me Shane. Give me Shane, Shane Battier. That's stupid. <laughs> Kyle Singler. Yo, he has a career. Yeah, no. no. Compared to the other guys, he's not even close. Shane yeah. Shane, recent, man, over Shane Battier and Grant Hill. Jay Williams is the one. Yes. Jay Williams is the one. JJ Reddick. Uh, Grant Hill. They need a four. I mean, who is a four that stayed there? Elden Brand? Yeah. Or Boozer? Or, I mean, as much as nobody wants to hear his name, Christian Leitner. Yeah. I'll go Christian. As far as college career, Christian? College career. So we got Jay, JJ Reddick, Grant Hill, Christian Leitner, Sheldon Williams. Then we got Ray or uh, Ty. Ty. Jordan. <laughs> they ass off. <laughs> Antoine, T. Hans, Sean May. We beating the shit out of them. Yeah, I think I think that might be. I actually, I say this: we wouldn't beat the shit out of them. Good game, but we win it. Yeah. Because they, they're going to compete. I mean. They're competitors. But we got the greatest player. We have the literal goat. So that means team. JJ would have to. <laughs> <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Would you not say Grant unless it's like the second coming of Michael coming out of college? He was cold. Grant was cold. He was cold. But Michael Jordan wasn't Michael Jordan until he got into the league. He was still player of the year. He was, but he wasn't. The myth and the legend until he got into the league. It's because no one knew that. I mean, <laughs> you didn't know, but like now we knew. But my whole point is that Grant and MJ in college would match up. Exactly. But they match up equally. But then JJ has to guard. We just have matchup problems. It's matchup problems. We have major matchup problems. Because matchup problems. We got. <laughs> At point guard, that's. Was Jay Williams, was he? He was player of the year? Yeah. <laughs> Antoine cooking Grant. <laughs> And Leitner uh, is cooking both T hands the thing on the off. On the off. They, those guys can't be scarred. T hands is working. T hands is the like, only wash might be Sheldon and yeah. Sean. Yeah. And Jay Williams and the point guard. Yeah. Because Ray going to come Jay compete. Williams. Yeah, now, Jay Williams was a fucking issue. He was an issue. Was he the player of the year? Yeah, he was player of the year. We need you in a pod also, Jay. But Jay Williams was an issue. I he was. Say, he was a problem. I we said it was close. Yeah, we're not saying it. I just said it was close. I said we're winning, though. You're a Duke fan. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> why, why are we listening to this yeah. guy, man? Uh, Justin, recent, what was your welcome to the rivalry moment? While I was at school? No, while you're now. Yes, while you was in school. Well, because I'm saying. <laughs> oh, that's true. You could watch it on TV. Go ahead. I'm saying I, I had it on the baseline as a recruit. Watching, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. watching Jabari go. That could be your moment, though. That could I mean, be your moment. But that was my moment of like, I don't know if I'm ready. We might have, we might have been, we might have both been there. We, I think we might have. It was the game at at UNC, and they won. Yes, and him and Rodney Hood were going. Hey, listen, bananas. I actually, I remember watching that game, and I was just like, they are playing at a high level. That's a high level. I got a lot of work. <laughs> a lot of work. Like, wait, I'm supposed to step into this next a year? A lot of work. But at in, in college? It might have been that our freshman year playing against Jaleel and all them. Yeah. At Duke. When they came back and tie a single-handedly Brought them back and won the game. Look at him back there nodding his head. Bro. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. He was. They was cooking us. Cooking. We was on their ass. The whole game. Bro. I think JP got like a, was it a backwards dunk? Yep. Punch that Fast shit. I, I wasn't even playing. Yeah. We were on it. They had our number, bro. I mean. Bro, they went and won the whole thing. Yeah, like yeah. that team was. That team was really good. I think that's that's the only team I've seen in a while that had basically all freshmen that were playing and won the whole thing. Yeah. The, the sick part was we grew up with all them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we sitting there like, what did we do? Yeah. I freaking was just playing high school basketball against Justice in Houston. Yeah. 
Like, those are good friends. You know what I mean? And they out here just won a natty. Once that happened, I remember one, we was like, we got to get one. Got to, bro. Oh, that that's just embarrassing. We felt like some bums. We got bums. knocked out in the, what was that, Sweet 16 or 32? Bro, I remember, yeah, we, first of all, we were rolling. We were rolling. And if we get through Wisconsin? We get through, we beat in Zona. Come on, bro. We beat in Zona. Stanley would say otherwise, but we beating them. <laughs> no, we're beating them, bro. But um, that was tough, though, bro. Like, that team was really good. That team was really good. One of my welcome that I remember, B.I., my second, our second year? Yeah. Caught the ball on the baseline. Drove left. I could, might have been the best defense I played in my life. I'm like, I'm locking his ass, locking his ass up. And then I'm going to lock him. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. Rolls up over top of me, shot over me like I was a baby. <laughs> Cash. I said, what the? F this don't make no damn sense, bro. They had Shoot. some killers come through, bro. They had some guys, bro. They had some guys. You know you had to buckle your chin strap. It was going to be a dog fight every single to. time. But that's, that, but that's going back to the whole rivalry thing, man. Like, yep. NC State had some talent and had some guys. Mm -hmm. But going into those games, it wasn't like, hey, yo, we really got to bring our A game to beat these guys. You know what I'm saying? Every time. Or they going to whoop your ass. Well, that was one thing about it, too, is like, I think going into the rivalry, you just don't want to get embarrassed. Exactly. So you're going to play so hard. We're like, hey, listen, you don't want to get embarrassed on this stage because everybody and they mama watching this. Everybody. One. People are running, rushing home yes, to watch the game. You got to watch everyone. I watch Carolina Duke tonight. What you doing? I'm going somewhere to watch Carolina Duke Facts. game. Everybody's watching that game. Exactly. Prize picks can get your money up. Shout out to Prize Picks for supporting Run Your Race. Me and my boy AJ are going to give you tips on how to get your money up. Prize Picks is the daily fantasy sports game. They make it super easy to play. It takes less than 60 seconds to make your picks and submit your entries. On Prize Picks, you don't play against anybody. You play against the Prize Picks projections. You pick two to six players. You either pick more or you pick less. You already know it's my favorite day of the week Taco Tuesday. Only because. Prize Picks has 25% off of certain projections. You know what that means. It's time for me to cash out. Like me and AJ said, Prize Picks can help you get your money up. You can make 25 times your money. So if you put in $100, you can make $2,500. If you put in $10, you can make $250. And they made it even easier. You can use Apple Pay for a quick and easy deposit. Head over to prizepicks.com slash race and use promo code RACE for a first deposit match up to $100. Are there any stories that you thought they were funny from the Carolina Duke game? I have a few, bro. <laughs> I have a freaking few. Uh, bro, do you remember our freshman year after we lost at Duke? No. <laughs> do you remember Big Joe? Uh uh. You, you, don't, you don't remember Big Joe? Did he break the locker or something? Bro, he was in the coach's locker room. Uh huh. So Big Joe was mad because he was guarding Jaleel kind of in the first half. Did pretty good on him. And then he didn't play much in the second half. Jaleel kind of had some good, good plays. We lose the game. We come in, bro. And it was like a herd of cows. <laughs> It sounded like there was a million people in the room, bro. In the, cause you know, you remember how the locker room was. It was like, it was our locker room and then it was like just a door and then it was the coach's locker room. Yeah. Bro, Big Joe came out of there, jersey oh, ripped. You don't remember that? Yes, I remember. He destroyed it. Destroyed it. Tables broken in half, jerseys ripped. Uh, <laughs> Coach Rob is trying to get him to calm down. He's not listening to none of that. Like, that was a wild situation. That was scary. Yeah, because Big Joe, Big Joe might be the biggest overall like human being that I've been around. Yeah. And so to see him, and usually he's chill. Yeah. Big Joe's mad chill. Because he know like, how much strength he has. Exactly. Yeah, he could really hurt somebody. That's what I'm saying. And at that point, I think if somebody really got in front of him and like said something wrong to him. Broke their face. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
they might have died. It was tough. I remember, I got two stories. I got one story that was funny. Actually, they both funny. The other one, we was lit. <laughs> I'll tell you about that one after the first one. <laughs> tell you about that one after the first one. I'll give y'all, I'm going to give y'all a story where this one I know Justin was on a different level. And then I'll give y'all a story when your boy was turned <laughs> at the dub. <laughs> first one, Justin. This is why I knew he was he was he was on he was leaving. He was gone. I knew he was going to the draft for sure. We had pregame meal. We go to the Carolina Inn. Always go to Carolina Inn for pregame meal. They go over the matchups. Joel, uh, who's that point? Frank Jackson? Yeah. Frank Jackson. Theo. Uh Luke Kennard. Justin. Grayson, Kennedy, Emil, and uh, I think it was Isaiah or somebody, you got JT. First of all, going back to think we had J- Isaiah on JT is bananas. That's awful. That's a bad matchup. And I rock with Zay. Yeah. I rock with Zay heavy. I'm glad JT, you were not JT at that point, but Jesus Christ, that's, that's a matchup problem. That, that's a matchup issue. But Justin looked at me like, no, I think you came to me like, yeah, you're not guarding Luke Kennard. I'm guarding Luke Kennard. I was like, what you mean? You know what? I can guard. I'm <laughs> like, I'm coming he, at he, you. He, yeah. <laughs> he's like, like, he's like, no, no, no. I got Luke Kennard. And then I was like, why the f- Why does he want to go? One and two in the ACC play of the year. <laughs> I said, oh, you want to smoke tonight? <laughs> Bet. <laughs> Bet. He's like, I got him. So then, Coach Rob, that was his scout, he was like, no, Theo, you got Luke Kennard because they wanted to save Justin for offense. <laughs> and I'm like, why do you want to save me for offense? <laughs> that mean. <laughs> then, we play, we do this shit. Bruh, Luke Kennard hit some bullshit on me. Play the clip. Two bank shots. I'm locking that shit up. Two bank shots. Just to come play the shit out of me, talking about, <laughs> I got him. And I'm like, fuck. You're right. You got him. I don't even want to guard this motherfucker no more, bro. And Justin goes crazy, wins play of the year, and the rest is history. Damn. Yeah. I was like, it was a tough one. It was a tough one for my morale. Hey, I don't, but I don't, in the moment, though, I wasn't coming at you, though. No, no, no. You just, you just needed to make sure you had a better game. Yeah. Understood. I like. would have said the same shit. <laughs> we, first of all, they would the coaches would have had to just been mad at me. I would have went From to the co- coach. I want him. <laughs> it's on the line tonight. Because at that point, Carolina, dude, this is our last game. That was it. I need, I need, I need that. I need that hand-to-hand combat. Nice. Fuck all the other shit. <laughs> then I'll tell you about sophomore year. We go into Cameron. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> we T. We get the dub. I hit two big free. They try to foul me. Like I'm not a great free throw shooter. <laughs> I'm in Cameron. Two big free throws. I think we up like three. Put it. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get to the line. It's loud. Cameron crazy's going crazy. I'm at the line. Pop, pop, pop. Ha. Ha. Let's go on. <laughs> <laughs> Get your ass up. Let's go home. <laughs> hey, we win that one. We get on the bus, bro. We turn. We got the viral video of us celebrating in the locker room with Coach Williams. Play yep. the clip, Hong. I know oh, you yeah. can find it. Yeah, yeah. Play the clip. We going crazy in there. Coach Williams jigging. <laughs> we get on the bus. We headed back. Coach Williams like, hey. Coach Williams, hey, he had, he had a show the look. Hey, had a look. <laughs> hey, listen, he was turned. He was tired. He said, let's go down Franklin Street. We went down Franklin Street. Ain't nobody on nobody the Franklin Street. Nobody was there. <laughs> we tried to get the windows open. Oh, cool. It's been an hour since the game. <laughs> we over here opening the hatch, trying to see people and shit. And I'm like, this was stupid. Let's just get back so we can go where we need to go. We turn. Marcus, Bryce, and Nate got a crib. I don't think you went. I did. You did? Yeah, yeah. So you went. We get there. Uh, we sit everybody in there. We having a good time, blah, blah, blah. 
I'm like, I stand up. I got a drink. I'm at 21. I'm 21. Drink at this responsibly. Point. I'm drinking. Drink responsibly. Get up there. I'm like, I got a speech. <laughs> I got a speech. Look. I want to say I love y'all boys. <laughs> I want to say I love y'all boys. We motherfucking state champs. Everybody like, if you don't shut up. Hi, this ain't high school basketball. You ain't no state champs, bro. State champs of the world, baby. <laughs> hey, bro. That was one of the funnest. Bo- hey. But I will say this, that kickstarted one of the best times of my life. For sure. Bro, from that Duke game to the national championship game, that was we were balling. Balling. And having so much fun doing it, bro. So much fun, bro. It was an unbelievable time. I will never forget that team. Bro, unbel- that, that team, I'm sick we didn't win it. Yeah, that team deserved to win. Sick Team that we didn't. Deserve. Oh my God, we f-ed around beat Duke at Duke to win the ACC regular season. Go into uh, the ACC tournament, beat Virginia in, in uh, Washington D.C. Got them up out of there. Then go our way to the Natty and lose off a of buzzer beater. I'm sick. I'm like, cause I got beat on the back door by Mikael. That shit was embarrassing. <laughs> I didn't even play the rest of the game. <laughs> I was like, Pff. but nah, man, that was, that was a great time. I appreciate y'all do y'all kickstarted our year, our postseason run. Um, <laughs> we tend to do that to y'all. I mean, <laughs> y'all have had arguably the worst loss in college basketball history. You lost Coach K's last game, and then you lost Coach K's last last game. <laughs> yeah, that's tough. Holmes back there crying, bro. Like, literally tearing the fuck up right now. They had a whole ceremony planned. That's tough, bro. He was pissed. He was so mad. Were you guys there? Hell no. Oh, yeah, you guys were in the middle of the season. Yeah, yeah, we were in the middle of the season. I was watching it, though. Remember, we, we, we played basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just remember seeing all the Arkansas alumni there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know if you guys ever had a chance to see it. No, hell no. Nah. Hey, we watched it, though. Definitely watched it. We watched it. That was... I wonder what that I wonder what that feeling was like for that team, the UNC team. I mean, imagine that feeling. I, my thing was, if I was in that same result would have. There's no way I'm letting them beat us. No, in that game, you gonna plan all of this stuff before the game. You you better do that shit against somebody else. Yeah, as if like you're gonna walk in here and just get a dub, and it's just gonna be just a happy and. and Happy time. And th- this was my next question. Was Coach Williams' mentality during Duke games? Duke, Duke, NC State games, Coach Williams is on another level. Mm-hmm. You know that week, practice has to be damn near perfect. Mm-hmm. Can't be no, no f- around. Coach Williams does not play on those weeks. Granted, any week, but those two weeks, NC State is another, another level. Yeah, yeah. Duke is another level. Yeah. But Coach Williams... On those two nights of NC State Duke nights, it was on another level. On another level. But if Coach Williams was coaching us in those moments, yeah, yeah. he would have told us, nah, hell no. <laughs> should have You should have scheduled this shit against Boston College. Facts. Or some shit. You know, fucked up. <laughs> and I would say, Coach, you're right. We want smoke tonight. Paulo Bencaro, Bencaro, it would have been on and popping. Aren't you the one that got coach to say something about smoke in the Hawaii? Yeah, we don't want. What they do, don't what want. Say? They don't want no smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen. He was with us. He was with us. He was with us. As man. much as he He was could wait. Be. Hey, listen. I kept coach at bay, man. I kept him young. I kept him young. Then when I left, kept getting older and older. Every time I saw him, like, coach, what's going on? He looked more stressed like, out. You, you miss me? I'm like, <laughs> Do you have any uh, Coach K uh, memories? Not really, bro. I mean, you get recruited by Duke? At the very, very end. Really? Which I don't even know why, because at that point, everybody knew I was going to North Carolina. <laughs> it's freaking pointless. Uh, Jeff Capel was there at the time. Yeah. Uh, 
but no, I don't, I mean, other than just like interactions through the handshake line of like a game, way to play, you're a good player or whatever. Like I didn't have, I mean, me personally, like I, I, I know UNC fans probably like have a crazy distaste and hate for him. He never did anything while we were there that really made me like, I can't stand this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. So I, I don't. I remember before I even went to college, <laughs> it was like, Jaleel, best player in the country. Tyus, best point guard in the t- country. Uh, Justice, you're a dog. Theo, you got to separate yourself. <laughs> He was like, there's a lot of six five guards out there. Oh, I was yeah, like, no, forget Coach K then. I was like, Yeah, no. You know what? It's smoke every time I see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll tell you this, last time I played him, I won. So was the last time you played him in the tournament, Brooklyn. I was I bro. I had like six, I had like eight, but I had I was like on my Luca shit. <laughs> I controlled that whole shit, bruh. <laughs> no, 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 not even Lucas shit. Draymond shit. <laughs> I was guard Marvin. I had Wendell big ass a couple times. I ended up getting switched on Grayson. Boy, I was, hey, listen. You were everywhere. I was everywhere, bruh. Boogieing. Boogieing. Um, getting loose. What's your prediction for this week? I'm not a buyer in Duke's team, man. As unbiased as I can be, I'm not a buyer in them. Mm -hmm. Uh, At the same time, there's some things that kind of make me worried about this UNC team Mm -hmm. that uh, I don't know if Duke can do it, but I mean, I'm obviously going, I think, I think they'll, I think UNC will win by nine. Damn. That's think, an ass whooping. I think they won by nine. There's just some matchups that I think if UNC wins those matchups, that I think yeah. they'll be good. I I I agree. I say by five. Definitely gonna be tougher because it's in Cameron. Mm-hmm. Um, they're gonna be juiced. They're gonna be f- turned. Anytime we beat them the first time and we go to Duke, it True. is it is rocking in there. But I just I don't see the players for them to yeah. be able to translate yeah. that onto the court. Agreed. My, I, like I said, I think we're gonna win because RJ's been there, mm-hmm. Mondo been there ten years. Uh, <laughs> hey, if we're talking hey, about Mondo being there ten years, Cormac hey, has been, Cormac been there around. 12. Yeah, Cormac 12. been there twelve years with ten teams. <laughs> uh, Harrison first time, but he a dog. Dog. Um, and. <laughs> Elliot Cadeau. Hey. Mm-hmm. That little light skin motherfucker figuring it out. Hey. He figuring, he boogieing. He is boogieing. Listen. In the cotton white tee under the jersey. Listen, that's sick work. <laughs> <laughs> the bacon neck under the jersey. Got the Target brand tee underneath. Hey, listen, he's a, he's a gamer, bro. Yeah, yeah. He's a gamer. Mm-hmm. He looked good. Yeah. He looked good. Um, yeah, I got UNC by five. It's going to be rocking in there. Um, if Filipowski, if, if he want to keep shooting threes, go ahead, my brother. Keep, keep shooting them shits. Please. Keep shooting them, my boy. Please. Um, it's going to be a big game. It is going to be I a got big a, game. I got us winning by five. Uh, we got a game that day? We don't. Saturday. We play Sunday. Yeah, we, we don't. Yeah, we good. Locked in. Locked in. <laughs> Locked in. Um, uh, Which arena do you think is tougher for opposing players? I think from what I have heard, the Dean Dome is tougher. It's just a larger arena. Even though one thing I always wish for the Dean Dome is that we had like a few games where the like the Duke game, the students were all the way around the first bowl. Yeah. I think that would be so like you look at Michigan State. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That joint rocks. Yeah. Not that those, you know, season ticket holders don't cheer, but I think the 
the fandom of students when it comes to those kind of games yeah just would create a totally yeah crazier atmosphere but i'd say that because it's just a larger arena yeah i agree because like i said Carolina fans bringing that game. Mm -hmm. No, there's no, there's like Duke is loud and it's a crazy feeling when you walk, run out there. But when you run out that tunnel in the Smith Center, it it does something to your body, bro. It's it's some weird shit. But it's it's a set. I think it's a tie, bro. In my opinion, if I'm gonna be completely honest, I really think it's a tie. Because just the atmosphere and the build up, yeah, the build up. To, don't let it be two top five teams like it's about to be. Build up's gonna be crazy. The build up's gonna be insane. Yeah, that um, is true. So I, I, I say it's a tie. I mean, I think both places are, are rocking great environments. Yeah. Um, what's the most iconic moment in Carolina Duke basketball history, in your opinion? Woo. That's tough. That's tough, bro. That's a tough ass question. Because we've already talked about UNC beating Coach K in his last two games. But if we're talking about like something that just sticks in your head, something that sticks in my head is Gerald, what's his name? Gerald Henderson? Well, the elbow to T hands. Yeah. Like that sticks in my head. Yeah, that was smoke. That one, Danny Green. Oh, the dunk. The dunk. And uh was it Marv's and one? That was against Duke, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Marv's and one was nuts. Stack had that reverse Stack dunk. Reverse and one. dunk. There's some. There's some freaking big time moments with some big time players, bro. And we, I mean, we don't like to talk about it, but Austin's game winner was <sighs> crazy. That place was so silent, bro. Bro, it was, that one was nuts. It was a lot. There was a lot. I mean, there's a lot of great plays that came out of this Ryrie and can't really diminish or not appreciate any. Yeah, that's a lot of big time moments, man. What was the biggest moment in your life, in your time there? I think the biggest moment was probably our junior year playing at Smith Center. I was shooting the ball terribly. But I think I I came off a screen. I don't even know how the ball got to Isaiah. I think it was Isaiah. Oh, yeah. I played a clip. You died. And I I don't know how it got to him. I hadn't made that kind of pass all season long. <laughs> and I went left, wrap around. And was he got and one? and one. Yeah. And the, the crowd went absolutely crazy. Hey, everybody in that month was hype. Bro, that was. Except me. <laughs> Hong. Find the clip, bruh. Everybody hype but me. I was so tight. <laughs> I'm walking directly to our bench. Coach, get me, bruh. Get me. <laughs> I was exhausted. Everybody screaming. I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> get me out this game right now. <sighs> I was exhausted, bro. Then, I would say mine was clear my senior year when I got that dunk. I was about to say, that, that dunk was, that was, was freaking. A, that was a lit moment. I was, I'll never forget. I was, stand, I was standing in my living room in Sacramento, bro. Really? What? Yeah. Going crazy at the TV. Yeah. Yeah. I was, <laughs> Man, that, one, that was a lit that. moment. Huh? <laughs> I bet you was pissed. You can hold that one. <laughs> hold every bit of that one. Hey, the crazy part was. <laughs> Right after that, I got split at <laughs> by, by McConnell. I was like, damn, we won. Facts. It's turret. That's all that matters. Yeah, that's all that matters. Braun, you're just still doing shit. I mean, 40,000, brother. Congratulations to you. You are a true testament to hard work and dedication to this game that we all love, and we cannot. Thank you enough for gracing us with this greatness that you have blessed us with. And for you to continue to do it at this level is just. People, 21 seasons, bro. Like people, people lose like interest 
when somebody's doing something at a high level for a, like a long period of time. Mm-hmm. And I think we don't take into appreciation really what these 21 years yeah. have really been like. Because yeah. it's not like he's falling off a cliff. No. Do we remember what Dirk was at? I was on like? his team. Yeah, like you was on the team. What he was looking like at 20. Dirty, he's an all-time great in the conversation for best power forward of all time. But that last year, he couldn't move. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and this guy is out here stealing the ball. Dunking. <laughs> dunking. It's sick. Carrying his team in the fourth quarter. Like, it's crazy to even think about. I don't care if you don't have LeBron as your GOAT. The respect has to be there. For sure. For him being. For sure. One of the best to ever do it in this game. And also, Caitlin Clark, you're nice as hell. I don't care what nobody says. Caitlin Clark is a problem. And Indiana Fever, don't fuck this up. Get her some people around her. Tickets gonna be going crazy. Let her go. Let her do the same shit she doing at Iowa. Money going up. Pistol Pete Maravich. Yeah, is who she passed. And you, you probably sick about that. Come on, bro. He averaged forty with no three point line. You probably sick about that. But hey, man, <laughs> that's another episode of Running Race, man. We appreciate all the love. And that's our Duke and UNC edition, man. And y'all already know, UNC, every day, it's a great day to be a Tar Heel. Peace.